Hi guys, welcome to a hey math group. So they give you the following system of equations: 3x plus 5y equals to 14, and then I have 6x plus y equals to negative 8. How do I solve the following system of equations? All right, we're going to do it by using the elimination method. Now, the elimination method, basically, you want to do the opposite. That way, when you add them, you're going to eliminate them. Let's do this example to make it easier. Look, I'm going to go ahead and eliminate x. I have 3x on the top and 6x on the bottom. Well, the only way that I can eliminate is if I have 6x minus 6x, that's going to be 0. I can do whatever I want as long as I do it to every single term anytime I have an equation. So look what I'm going to do. Since I have a 3x and I have a 6x here, I'm going to multiply the top by negative 2. So let's do it here. Negative 2 times 3x plus 5y equals 14. So let's do it. Negative 6x minus 10y equals negative 2 times 14, that's equals to negative 28. Basically, I'm just rewriting the equation. Now, let's put, I'm going to call this one 1, and I'm going to call this equation 2. I'm going to put equation 2 on the bottom, and I have 6x plus y equals to negative 8. Now that I have this, look what's going to happen. 6x plus 6x minus 6x plus 6x it will eliminate negative 10y plus y, that's negative 9y, equals negative 28 minus 8 is negative 36. Bingo! I have negative 9y equals negative 36, so I divide by negative 9, and look how beautiful, y equals to 4, because negative 36 over negative 9 is y equals to 4. Now, I can go ahead and just um, use this um, substitution in order to find the x. Well, pick any equation, either 1 or 2. I'm going to choose number 1, 3x plus 5y equals 14. Well, remember, now I know the value of y, so I just do 3x plus 5 times 4 equals 14, 3x plus 20 equals 14, now minus 20 minus 20, I'm almost done, 3x equals 14 minus 20 is negative 6, divided by 3, this is equals 2, negative 6 over 3 is just negative 2. Now this is very, very important, your answer should be written the following way, x always comes first, negative 2 comma 4. On the test, you might see they might switch and they might put 4 comma negative 2. And since you're going fast, you put the wrong answer. So always remember, it's alphabetical order, x and then y. And that's it. Please don't forget to watch our other videos. Also remember, you can Skype with us. And also, thanks so much for learning.